Markets this morning are higher in the triple digits. We are looking at a pretty good opening this morning. Dow Industrials right now up 167, the S&P up 16, and the Nasdaq higher by 52. Stocks are rebounding after all three major indices finished near session lows yesterday. There are concerns over a slowdown in the U.S. economy, and that certainly is creating worries uh, about growth. And we are also watching inflation. This morning, we get the producer price index out. It's coming out at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. Joining me right now to talk about investing in this environment is Labenthal Global Advisors President Dominic Tavella. Also joined in the conversation all morning long this morning, Fox Business is Dagan McDowell and the Hill columnist, Fox News contributor Joe Concha back with us this morning. Great to see everybody this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Dominic, kicking things off with you. Are you worried about economic growth and the backdrop with which to invest? Well, the evidence is starting to become clearer every single day, Maria. You were spot on. We're looking at things like COVID, which, you know, had a, a huge spike starting to roll over, but it tapped the brakes on the economy. We're seeing employees still not wanting to go back to work and companies not being able to hire. That's putting tapping the brakes on economic growth. We're seeing inflation that is forcing in, in both employers and companies not to go ahead with projects. We have consumers not willing to spend that slowing economic growth. So we have a number of these factors, each one of them in itself, maybe not dramatically affecting the economy. But when you start putting them all together, we are definitively seeing slowing economic growth. We don't think it derails the recovery, but it clearly is tapping the brakes on growth. Yeah, and, and, and then there's also the unknown on the horizon, right, Dominic? I mean, right now, President Biden is trying to jam through that $3.5 trillion spending package. Um, that's going to include much higher taxes. We've got a list here of quote-unquote offsets where they can raise revenue. If we see a 43.4 percent capital gains tax, a, a, a 28 to 30 percent corporate tax, what does that do to the market? Do you want to start getting defensive? Uh, you clearly have to. So, so we look at this from two perspectives. The consumer, when consumer confidence goes down, it's clear as day they start to hold tighter onto their money, and therefore they're not willing to spend it. So when you, they look at this kind of headline risk, it really puts a damper on their spending. On the other side, which is the corporate side, hey, if my profits get cut by 5, 10, 15 percent, that's right down to the bottom line. We look at the major indices today, the S&P 500, trading at about 22 times forward earnings. That's on the expensive side, but not outrageous. You take away 5, 10, 20 yeah. percent when our tax rates went up, that number drops dramatically. These markets have to correct. So it would have significant yeah. economic, both individual and corporate uh, economic effect if they went ahead with these tax increases. Yeah, I, I agree with you on this, especially since we're coming off of all of these record highs. So this market is already going into any change in policy with a huge premium. And then there's the China story. And let's look first at the crackdown. The Chinese government now giving guidance on worker protections for ride hailing companies, saying that these companies need to better distribute income to ensure best periods. Earlier in the week, China also forbid those under 18 from playing video games for more than three hours a week, Dominic. More rules coming from the CCP as it uh, really does this power grab on so many industries. All of this as President Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping had a phone call last night. We are trying to get the substance of that call. And uh, I'd like to know whether or not President Biden once again skirted the issue of the coronavirus, or did he actually confront Xi Jinping on the origins of this coronavirus? What's your take on the China story, whether it be the threat of the CCP wanting to uh, overtake the United States as the number one superpower, or China's new regulations? Are they affecting the way you allocate capital? So two things. This started earlier in the year, and they started cracking down on the technology companies. And we kind of all looked at a little bit kind of what's going on over there. This is a little weird. It's not usually their behavior. I mean, they do control, obviously, their economy. But they've kind of let their, their industries, their corporations kind of help grow the, uh, their own uh, net worth, their own com uh, country net worth, and, and their own dominance, economic dominance over the world. All of a sudden, they are really starting to crack down. And it's a rolling crackdown. I think this is what surprised people. They go from one industry to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. So right now, it's kind of been right. internal. 
Um, clearly, the Chinese markets have been affected, but if it starts affecting the supply chains and product coming out to us and the rest of the world, that has significant economic impact. If it affects how American businesses, and you know it will, Maria, if it affects American businesses being able to do business there, um, that has dramatic effects. So we really have to watch this very, very closely. And I don't think we can be very passive as a country in, in a global uh, uh, in, in interconnected world, we can be very passive and just yeah. let them do whatever they want. So I think a firm stance well, is in order and must happen. Yeah, we're waiting for that uh, policy that has any teeth on it out of the Biden administration. No luck so far, Dominic, but we'll see about we that haven't mentioned because Taiwan, the CCP's right? reach. Yeah, we haven't even mentioned God forbid Taiwan. Yeah. So there are significant right. geopolitical economic risks here. Yeah. Dominic, it's good to get your take on all of that. Thanks so much. Thank you, Maria.